If Horner syndrome had a tagline, it'd be something like, the cause of eye dropping and no sweating, but don't worry, you can still look cool. Horner syndrome is a rare condition that affects the eyes, face, and upper body. Its signs include drooping eyelids, that is ptosis, reduced pupil size or meiosis, a lack of sweating on one side of the face or anhydrosis, and a slight flattening of the forehead. Horner syndrome is caused by damage to the nerves in the neck or upper chest, typically due to an injury or tumor. The pathophysiology behind Horner syndrome involves disruption of the sympathetic nervous system, which controls pupil size and facial sweating. So, if you have Horner syndrome and your eyes are drooping, don't worry. The good news is that Horner syndrome can be treated with medication or surgery, depending on the cause. As was previously mentioned, sympathetic disturbance leads to Horner syndrome. The severity of the symptoms is determined on the degree of denervation and the location of the lesion. The superior tarsal muscle helps raise the upper eyelid and has a sympathetic nerve supply. Denervation of this muscle causes ptosis, which is milder than oculomotor palsy, which supplies the levator palpebrae superioris. The superior tarsal muscle is responsible for keeping the upper eyelid in a raised position after the levator palpebrae superioris raises it. This explains the partial ptosis seen in Horner syndrome. The lower eyelid may be slightly elevated owing to denervation of the lower lid muscle, which is analogous to the superior tarsal muscle. Ipsilateral anhydrosis, another classic presentation, depends on the level of interruption of the sympathetic supply. Anhydrosis with first-order neuron lesions affects the ipsilateral side of the body as the sympathetic supply from its central origin. Iris heterochromia, relevant deficiency of pigment in the iris on the affected side, is seen in children younger than two years and is the congenital form of Horner syndrome. So there you have it, Horner syndrome. If you have any of the signs we've discussed, be sure to seek medical attention right away. With proper treatment you can manage this disorder and keep it from having any major effects on your life. Stay informed, take action, and stay healthy.